Okay, so I'm from Jersey, right? And in Jersey, there was always an awesome sandwich shop somewhere in the neighborhood. Somewhere. Depending on where you live, it's always somewhere where you can go to get you a good sandwich. And even though there are a few different ones that stick out in my mind, my favorite was Sandwiches Unlimited in East Orange, New Jersey. The sandwiches are always really good and really fresh. They got, and you know, that got me thinking, what are the pros and cons of starting your own sandwich shop? Like, how would I do it? Would it be profitable? You know, would it, would it be the right business to start right now? But before we get into all that, Allow me to reintroduce myself. My, name, My is name is Devon. Put in work, Burke, for the WealthBuilders.com. That's the WealthBuilders with a Z, dot com. And co-owner of the WealthBuilders Solutions, LLC. And if you love content like this video, and talking about making more money, saving more money, building a better you and business, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Click that, click that button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And share the video. Alright? Please help us out with the channel. Most definitely. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. What you don't like, what you do like about the Web Builders TV. Alright, so with that being said, let's talk about starting us a sandwich shop. I love you, good sandwich. You're kind of hungry right now. But seriously though, starting a sandwich shop can have several pros and cons. And here are some key points to consider. Something to, you know, drink your coffee to and really think about if you really think you want to start yourself a sandwich shop. Number one, it's popular and it's a versatile food choice. Sandwiches are loved by everybody, right? They're a universally loved item and have a brand appeal to multitude of customers. They can be customized to cater to various tastes, dietary preferences, and cultural backgrounds, making them a great menu option or a great standard store, right? Or a shop, if you want to call it that. Number two, a simple menu and easy preparation. Sandwiches generally have a straightforward preparation process, which makes it easier to train staff and maintain consistency and food quality. The simplicity also allows for faster service and quicker turnaround times, appealing to customers seeking a convenient, easy meal. And you can do whatever you want with it, right? You can, you can flip it, you can turn sandwiches upside down, you can do so many different things with a sandwich. Number three, cost-effective ingredients. Many sandwich ingredients such as bread, deli meats, cheeses, and vegetables are typically affordable and readily available, right? You can go anywhere and get these items. This can help with controlling food costs and maximizing your profit margins. You know what I mean? You wanna maximize those because that's how you make your money, through your profit margins. Number four, flexibility in location and scale. Sandwich shops can operate in a range of settings, right? From small take takeaway joints to large dining establishments. This flexibility gives you the ability and the opportunity to choose a location that suits your target market and budget. Additionally, the scalability of the business allows for potential growth and expansion in the future. I know they use a lot of big words right there, but basically you can start small and expand quickly without having to worry about if you started too small, if you started too big, and whatever, whatever, whatever. You can decrease the size, you can change how you operate, you can do so many different things with a sandwich shop. Number five, repeat business and loyal customer base. If you consistently provide quality food and sandwiches with great customer service, you can build a loyal customer base. Repeat business is crucial for any food establishment and satisfied customers can become brand advocates 
referring your shop to others like I just did at the beginning of the video right sandwiches unlimited one of my favorite sandwich spots in Jersey right always went there every time I wanted a sandwich and I was in the area boom I would go to one of the sandwich unlimited spots right that's how we got down that's how I did my things my favorite spots now let's talk about the cons number one competition the food industry, including sandwich shops, can be highly competitive, especially in the city, right? Existing and well-established sandwich chains or local eateries may already dominate the market, making it challenging for a new shop to gain traction. Conducting market research and finding a unique selling proposition can help, you know, kind of make your business stand out. And you want to make sure that you stand out. Because without being a standout, you're going to get lost in a crowd and you're not going to have any, you know, customers and customers bring money. Right? You need the money. Because without the money, you have no shop. <laughs> Number two, labor and training requirements. Running a sandwich shop or any shop or any place like this, right, involves managing staff, training them on food preparation, customer service and maintaining cleanliness and food safety standards. Hiring and retaining skilled employees can be a challenge, particularly if you're operating on a tight budget or in a location with high turnover rates. And believe me, high turnover rates can really affect your business, especially when it comes to something like a sandwich shop, right? Because not all your employees are going to be the best sandwich makers, right? And you want to have that guy or a couple of guys that's in there that's making the best sandwiches, the best food that's that everybody could come back and buy and buy and keep buying and keep buying. Number three, seasonal variations and demand fluctuations. Now, depending on your location, the demand for sandwiches may vary seasonally. For example, beachside locations may experience higher demand in the summer, but slower business during the winter months. It's important to consider these fluctuations and up and downs and downs and ups and plan accordingly to manage inventory, staffing, and financials, right? Because you wanna know your high season, your low season, and, and, and everything in between. You wanna know how the market or how your area goes ups and downs. That's how you can kinda gauge where you need to be. Number four, operational complexity and long hours. Owning and operating a food establishment, including a sandwich shop, can be demanding and time consuming. It requires managing inventory, food preparation, quality control, customer service, marketing, and administrative tasks. The long hours and physical demands of the business can take a toll on your personal life and work-life balance. You'll end up being, you know, sometimes, you know, people, if you love your business, it doesn't really affect you that much, but if it's more of a chore or if you feel like you're not in love with your business anymore, then man, this might not be what you need to start. Number five, food safety and health regulations. This is definitely a con because the food industry is subject to stringent health and safety regulations to ensure the well-being of customers. Compliance with these regulations may require additional investments in equipment, training, regular inspections, right? Failure to, you know, adhere to these standards can result in penalties, fines, or even closure of your business. Now, you don't want that. You don't want that. Nah, brother, you don't want to close your business, right? So you got to, you know, follow these rules and really, you know, take heed to what, you know, the guidelines are. That's a big con when, you know, you're just starting out. You got to spend all that money. But before starting a sandwich shop, it's essential to conduct thorough market research, develop a comprehensive business plan, and carefully evaluate the potential pros and cons in your specific circumstances. Now, if you need a business plan done, there's a link in the description for that. It's not a lot. We get you set up, get you a business plan for whatever you need. It doesn't have to be a sandwich shop, but if you do want a sandwich shop business plan, I got you.
Link in the description. How much does it cost to start a sandwich shop business, right? How much does it cost? Let's talk about this money, right? Now, we, we, we talked about how and all that good stuff, but how much does it cost? All right, so startup costs for a sandwich shop range from 45000 to 90000 the largest expenses are space rental, equipment, and operating budget. You need a handful of items to successfully launch your sandwich shop, including meat slicers, food processors, toasters, microwaves, countertop griddles, panini grills, fryers, steamers, refrigerated display cases, and hot food display cases. Everybody like hot food. I like hot sandwiches. Most of my friends like hot sandwiches. Every time we go get a sandwich, now I'm telling the tennis is gonna be a hot sandwich. So you definitely gotta be able to make your sandwiches hot. <laughs> so you know, you don't you definitely need that. Also, you need to figure out if your sandwich shop is going to be a grab and go spot or a place where people come and sit down and eat and chat. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's the location to come and chill and eat and chat, you know what I'm saying? Sit there and, you know, scrunch down your sandwich with your peoples. Then you will need to have free Wi-Fi or maybe, and maybe, a flat screen TV or two to play the latest sports and daytime TV or the, the, the latest videos, whatever you want to play. It all depends on your goal and the type of atmosphere you're trying to create. Right, because if it was me and I wanted to make it a, a spot for everybody to chill, I might have a pool table in the back. I might have some lounge spot in, in the back where you could chill. Nothing too crazy, something light, you know, where people can get their sandwich. It'd be a little different than a regular sandwich shop, but that's just how I would do it <laughs> if I was doing something like that. But all in all, starting any business can be very rewarding and high pressure because you don't want to fail. Nobody wants to fail. I get it, right? Who wants to fail? So the best way to not fail in any business is have business credit. At least know how to get business credit. And with that being said, I have a video course that teaches you the five steps to building business credit. Plus, plus how to expand and build any business online right even if your business is an offline business you can build your business online and make money online with your offline business i know right sounds crazy but i got you all right it's the wealth builders system that's wealth builders with a z system the link is in the description go ahead put your information in get started today because it teaches you everything you need to know about building a business online offline and what steps to take to building business credit. I try to get much, as much information I can get into this program for you and hook you up and so you have a great view of how to build any and almost any business out there, right? It doesn't matter what it is. I try to help you with all the, all the different details and stuff like that. It took me a minute to create it, so check it out. So go ahead, please. With that being said, it's the man. It's the man. The wealth with himself. Devon, put in work. Burke, signing off for how to start a sandwich shop. Pros and cons. Do remember, wealth builders, make more, save more, build more. Peace.